To create your calibration samples, you have molecular sieves to dry your rock dust and coal dust and to keep your calibration samples dry after you've created them. Included in your kit is PPC. The PPC is pulverized Pittsburgh coal. It has a certain designated size, particle size distribution that has been used in full-scale explosion testing. You only want to use this PPC unless otherwise directed. There is a seal on your uh, PPC. You want to open up the container and break that seal. Now, to create your 100% coal dust mixture, simply add a portion of your PPC into this container. You can also add some sieves to ensure that the PPC sample remains dry. To create your 100% rock dust sample, simply take a dried portion of your rock dust that you are using for that mine and put it in the container. When filling the containers, you should probably fill them half full. Add your sieves until the container is approximately three quarters full. You can shake the sample to mix the sieves with the rock dust to keep the rock dust dry. For calibration, you must create an 80% rock dust, coal dust mixture. You must use the PPC as the coal dust portion unless otherwise directed. On the container, there are directions. Step one, fill 40 grams of rock dust. Step two, add 10 grams PPC. Add sieves and shake. To make your 80% calibration sample, you must have a balance. You need to measure out 40 grams of rock dust. Once you have your 40 grams of rock dust, add it to your 80% calibration container. Next, keeping your utensils clean, weigh out 10 grams of the PPC. When you have your 10 grams of PPC, add it to the 40 grams of rock dust that you have already placed in your 80% calibration container. Now you can add some molecular sieves to ensure your 80% calibration stamp sample is dry. Thoroughly mix the PPC and the rock dust. This 80% calibration sample will, will set the boundary between the red and the green measurements on the CDEM.